Hi beautiful women, I wanted to share a video with you um, before I leave Mother Bali. This is my front yard, it's a gorgeous rice paddy. And because there's just so much liquid and juiciness around me, I couldn't help but share a little bit about this um, pleasure wand, the sacred squirter. Um, and a little bit about female ejaculation. So it won't be a really long video, um, but I feel very, very called to share this with you. While I'm here, I go back to Australia tomorrow, back to the freezing cold. Um, so I thought here is the best place to talk about this kind of thing. So for starters, um, I just wanted to share with you that I couldn't always squirt or ejaculate. Um, I always wanted to, and I'd heard lots about it, and I, it felt like a, a mystery. I even had this tantric master um, try make me squirt when I was about 20 years old. So I met him when I was very, very young before I'd gone into any of this work. And he told me and he watched, showed me this video about um, ejaculation and I was like, wow, I really want to try that. And so he did the, the techniques on me and I just, it just wasn't happening. So there are so many different things that need to, I guess, happen or, or occur for you to feel open and safe enough to actually release and let go. Um, so I'll share them with you in a moment. Um, but it wasn't until I was about 27, maybe even 26, 26 or 27, um, when I had my first experience. And it actually was in Bali. Um, I was probably, well, it wasn't in Bali, but I, I was able to squirt after coming home from Bali. It's like Bali activated something within me. Um, it was in Bali that I discovered the Yoni Egg practice. And I went to this incredible workshop that basically got me on my path that I'm on today. So by using the yoni egg, what it did was it helped to activate all the pelvic floor muscles and um, you know sensitivities inside my vagina so I could feel more. So as when I went home to my partner at the time, when we were having sex, all of a sudden I felt this like urge, this overwhelming urge to um, squirt to like release a different kind of orgasm and fluid that I never had before um, and it wasn't uh, until I had started using the yoni egg so that's that's one little secret one little tool that you can start to use every day um, it was within about 20 or 30 days that I started to notice I wanted to squirt um, during sex actually and that was from using the yoni egg sorry I need a tripod um, so I want to share with you this product that really helps to activate your G-spot, which helps you to ejaculate. So in my eyes, um, now I'm no doctor, but I really find, I, I feel as though a G-spot orgasm is ejaculation, essentially. So the G-spot's located about one to three inches inside the vagina. And when I say inside, I mean in and up. So you can also almost imagine like it's up on the top wall of the vagina, okay? So one to three inches inside. And it almost feels like a spongy, rigid, ribbed kind of texture. Almost like the top of your mouth, but even softer. So it's this kind of texture, but some women and some people, you can't even find it because they're not aroused enough. So that's the first key. You need to feel very, very, very aroused. It's not just gonna happen when you're you know, you going through the motions. It's, you have to feel incredibly safe. Um, you know, for me, I can only really squirt at home when I'm self-pleasuring, when I know no one's gonna come home, that no one's around, that the door's locked. You know, you have to feel very, very, um, comfortable so that's the first kind of thing is safety you have to feel very wet and very juicy and very aroused um, and basically you can use your fingers so if you haven't got a sacred squirter just yet you can use your fingers um, and it's what you call the hook so you kind of put your fingers inside your vagina like so and you do this hook like come hither feeling motion I should say so just like that 
and what you'll start to notice is it'll start to engorge and get bigger and it'll start to feel better and better um, in fact you might even feel like you want to pee okay and that's totally normal because what it does is by inserting the fingers in or a wand you're actually indirectly indirectly activating and stimulating the skein's gland which is on either side of the urethra okay so if you feel like you need to pee that's totally normal in fact a little bit of urine might come out and that's that's normal so just get lots of towels around you um, this wand is particularly good to activate the g-spot because as you can see there's all these little ridges yeah and it's quite thick like it's quite it looks like a tongue or I was gonna call this one octopusy so it's lots, lots of little octopus tentacles on it and it's great because it has a handle so you can kind of maneuver it in you can imagine that you're doing it just like that you're maneuvering it in and out now you don't even need to put it all the way in you can put it one to three inches in so just a little bit just like um, enough to feel those ridges um, against the g-spot okay so there's a few things that you really need to know when you're doing this is you know the right um, pressure so you want to put press the wand and this is why glass and crystal wands are so amazing because you, when you put the pressure on it doesn't bend back so you don't actually want something soft like um, you know a penis or um, like a rubber or silicon vibrator because they're actually going to bend back which is not exactly what you want but glass and and something metal or crystal won't bend back so that's why you want something hard um, so you want to be able to put the right amount of pressure on the g-spot and you also want to find the right angle now you want to press upwards like you're pressing up towards the bladder and now you might feel like you need to pee like I said that's fine because you're engorging the skein's gland which is situated on either side of the urethra okay so that's that's really important pressure and angle um, you also want to almost now some people kind of go have different opinions opinions on this but I think it's important to have you know drink lots of water that day because if you're really dry if you're really you know you haven't had much water you, your, your juices aren't going to flow so drink lots and lots of water and now you don't want to have a full bladder when you're doing this but you also don't want to have an empty bladder so just have like medium not full not empty um, that way you'll have more fluid that might want to be released okay now another thing is to bear down so when when you're feeling like you're wanting to come so the clitoris is really important in this as well you don't want to vigorously you know um, rub the clitoris so as you have a clit orgasm because you almost want to be able to ejaculate before you have a clitoral orgasm um, so I'm getting eaten alive by uh, ants going up my, my <laughs> panties um, I bet they're having a good old time there so the clitoris is important in getting yourself aroused but you don't want to reach the point of no return where you have an, a clitoral orgasm um, but you do want to you know stimulate yourself enough to to want to to almost have an orgasm and here wherein lies the trick you want to be able to bear down a little bit so when you're feeling like there's this rush coming try to like really take your breath down into your belly so really expand your tummy expand your belly opening it up and almost bearing down a little bit and then when you feel like you might have like something coming I want you to pull the dildo out of your yoni okay so you, you're putting it in and out rubbing the clitoris at the same time I would show you but I have only two hands right now um, and then when you feel this urge and you're breathing and you're taking the breath down so it's almost pressing on the bladder so really expanding the belly you're gonna pull out the wand whew, then there comes like a flood of either you can gush or you can squirt and it's like this tiny little like that like a tiny little um, spray almost I've only gushed once and it was like this huge amount of 
of clear liquid, clear fluid that came literally gushing out and it was very, very unexpected. Um, it was after the month of last year I did a no sex September and I've got a blog on my website that you can read about it. So I used the yoni egg every day for 30 days. I didn't orgasm that whole time. Um, and then me and my man um, went camping and we were having sex. And as he pulled out, well, he was on top and I was on the bottom. And as he pulled out his penis, I gushed this huge amount of clear fluid. So that's more of a gushing sensation. I think that's from a lot of buildup of sexual energy. So like I said, try a month, no um, sex, no orgasm, and then, see what happens it's amazing um, and then the other sort of squirting is that very short sharp kind of it's like it's spraying out of you um, yeah, and that feels equally as amazing so make sure you're really warm make sure you're really comfortable um, I always feel like highly sexual in somewhere like Bali because it is such a fertile you know warm juicy location in the world so see if you can make create recreate that at home in wherever you live um, in your lounge room in your bedroom in your office anywhere that you feel is going to turn you on um, and use lots of lubricant that was the other thing that i wanted to mention is use lots of coconut oil massage your breasts um, but you know be be very um, generous with your lubricant and you know what honestly this is going to be your best friend i love crystal sex toys but glass ones for this specific practice is just out of this world and I found when I was doing this practice I felt so much sensation from these little bumps uh, it's like my yoni literally felt like like internally was a clitoris inside me um, and I massaged I turned it to the left and I turned it to the right and I pulled it in and out and I massaged the sides of my vaginal walls and I felt so much more pleasure on the right side versus the left. So that's something else that you can really look at and, and observe and feel. Um, I, I could literally orgasm on both, on, on my right side way, way more than my left, which is really interesting. So. I'd love you to comment below and let me know um, if you've done this before, if you have any other tips that you'd like to send in. Um, if I've forgotten anything, I'll mention it below. And yeah, I'm sending you lots of this <laughs> and lots of juiciness with the Sacred Squirter. So if you want one of these, head to my website, yonipleasurepalace.com or rosyreese.com and look up the Sacred Squirter. It comes with a gorgeous goddess box. Mwah!